Welcome back. It's Friday, so we got to check in with our friends Kevin and Chris from 98.7 The Dove. <laughs> I was trying to use a weird radio voice. That, uh, 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 that is very weird. I wonder if Kevin and Chris need a new radio announcer to announce their show. I'll be happy to do it. And be like, good morning. You're listening to 98.7 Kevin and Chris show. The uh, uh. <laughs> We haven't heard we a haven't. thing. Hello? I don't know if they're making fun of me right now or not. I can't I, see, them or see them. There they are. There they are. <laughs> you, man, you got it down. Wait, wait, you, you missed your calling. <laughs> Kelly doesn't think so. Well, I like the first part of it. <laughs> the, 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 I didn't love that part. Okay, so that's all. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit. Hey, did all you right. guys ever watch a show called 227 where Jack A was on it? And she said, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was from the 80s with Marla Gibbs and Jack A. Jeremy loves 227. I do. You're channeling your I remember your Jack A, but I, I don't remember. Yeah, she yeah. talked like that on that show, 227. I show, though. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? I have to check hey, that out. Kevin, have you been okay. talking Chris to death because her voice, she's losing her voice? Yeah. Yeah. No, obviously, she's been talking me to death. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's the deal. No, we've been having a good time, but she's got, you know, it's that time of year. A lot of stuff's going around. Of course, every time, you know, she has a tickle, you know, everybody thinks, uh-oh, oh. you know, <laughs> avoid uh, Chris, but she's a negative Nelly when it comes yeah. to, uh, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. But, I've been uh, dealing with know. that for a month. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, around. So Jeremy and Kelly would be great uh, people to participate in our national dress up your pet day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that today? You can post pictures on our Facebook page, Jeremy. <gasps> I might oh, have to goodness. do that. What will they wear? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I've got clothes today. for them. Yeah. But I'm just saying this time of year, I guess it's just going to be a sweater. Just yeah, a I, ha sweater. I have a lot of dog sweaters. A lot of them yeah. are Christmas themed, if that's okay. But <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm sure you don't have any pictures on your phone, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, I, you can just send them right in. I have the cutest one of little my dog, little Miss Celine Dion, in a uh, white and black striped sweater with red hearts. It's so oh, cute. That's so sweet. You know, we were talking to uh, TJ earlier, and his dog uh, Gizmo's got a, a, a better wardrobe than I do. Yeah, it's like true. a Carhartt mm -hmm. and multiple outfits. Right. I just think my dog would bite me. If I tried to put a sweater. Yeah, my dogs wouldn't put up with it. I mean, my it's dogs like, would not put up with yeah, they're, they're bigger dogs. I think they'd be like, what in the world are you doing? They would not stand for it. No. Yeah, no. And, and also cats, because we've gotten some great photos of cats, yeah, like yeah. with wigs. How in the world? <laughs> I couldn't, I could, I barely get my cats to the vet because they are, you cannot, cats are so squirmish. I could not imagine putting a sweater on my cat or any kind of clothes. I know. I know. Yeah. I mean, it's been fun checking out the uh, the pictures on the, on Facebook and stuff like that. And we're also celebrating Hot Pastrami Sandwich Day and taking Ooh, calls on that. where to get a good one today because I want to get a good one. Wait, where can you get yeah. one then? Yeah. Give some mean, examples. Yeah, so, uh, well, uh, Queen City Deli has come in this morning. Uh, nearly Famous. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love uh, We Nancy. had uh, Jersey. Yeah, yeah. I think the sub shop. Sub shop has come in mm -hmm. this morning. People are uh, giving us some really good ideas on where to get one because, uh, you know, if you're going to have one, it might as well be on Hot Pastrami Sandwich Day, right? Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. I love Nearly Famous. And then you just add a little bit of that uh, homemade tomato soup with it. Oh, I love that soup. Oh, me my too. Gosh. So good. Hey, that, that reminds me of, uh, there's, uh, we're going to be talking about this in a bit. There's some new candles coming out, you know, to help keep your place smelling good. Have you guys mentioned the. Uh, yeah, we did. We, we mentioned heard about this it this morning. Oh my God, does that sound good to you? Mm -mm. I do, I love it. Yeah. I love the soup, but yeah. I don't want the candle to smell I don't like, like the soup. I smell like food. Yeah. No. It's weird. I'd rather get a Kentucky Fried Chicken candle. <laughs> they got those too, you know that? Oh, I want I that would... one then. Forget the soup, I yeah. want the chicken. Yeah, I get down. I'm down with that too. But, uh, but yeah, you know, so we're talking about that stuff. Getting ready for the weekend, maybe a little snow tomorrow. I'm just... Uh, hunkering down and Sunday night watching the Chiefs game. That's all I'm really big time looking forward to. Love your hat. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Looking good. Yeah. Hey, yeah. can I ask a random question to all three of you? Because yeah. I don't know. Do you know of any good place in town to get a good pita pocket, like a pita sandwich? Oh. Have you ever had one of those? Yeah, I've had one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't uh, know. What's a, There's one place on uh, 
Sunshine, the, the, I can't remember the name of it, the PETA place or whatever it's called. It's got PETA in the name. Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So are you talking about like a falafel? So it's like you take the pita bread and you open it up and you stuff everything in the pita bread, in yeah. the half. Because yeah. pita, oh, Shannon just said pita pit. That pita pit. Because we were talking about hot pastrami. Yeah. It reminded me of one of my favorite sandwiches growing up when I was in the Dallas area. We had this place called the, uh, the pita pocket or something like that. And it was so good. It reminded me of that. The yeah. only thing I've ever eaten with those yeah. pitas is like, uh, is like the falafels, like with the chickpea stuff. Is that what's in no, it? No, no, no. Okay. This is filled with anything. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Anything and everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, I've eaten them before, but it's been a long time. That's another God. I don't now. I don't know what to do. Hot pastrami <laughs> or a pita? You got all weekend, Kev. You got all hey, weekend. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and speaking of food, we were celebrating the 110th anniversary of the Oreo cookie, mm -hmm. and asking people, you know, yeah. how how they eat it. Well, uh, guess what we're doing on Monday? We're doing we the, we're doing like. the mustard and Oreo challenge. Ah. You are crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's all the rage how on TikTok. Do normally, how do you normally eat your Oreo? I spin it and I eat the frosting out. And I don't. Yeah. And then one, two, so you make it a three-part yeah. situation? Yeah. Yes. Well, and Kelly, I'm kind of with you. You said you don't, right? I'm not really an Oreo fan. Oh! What? I know it's wow. un-American. So, sorry. guys, I'm so sorry we're out of time, but watch us Monday because we're doing the TikTok challenge with mustard on top of Oreos, and then you have to eat it. Try Can't it. Can't wait. Okay. We'll be watching. Happy have weekend. weekend. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye, guys. All right, coming up, we have some entertainment news for you. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Are you so excited about that Monday? You know what? I don't hate Oreos, and I love mustard, so 